What up YouTube, Zach here, here for another video in our series on aortic stenosis. Now, this is part of our Pop Culture Cases series where we've been talking about Mr. Bursky from Scrubs. Now, we've already talked about the signs of aortic stenosis, including that murmur that I know you're also curious about. Today, I'd like to focus on the symptoms, what the patient experiences. Now, in mild disease, the patient might not experience anything. Symptoms suggest that severe disease is present. We're through the looking glass here, people. Which symptoms? Well, that's all logical. It's exactly what you'd expect if the outflow tract to the heart was narrowed. Naturally, the blood flow to key tissues is restricted, particularly of note are the brain and the heart muscle itself. They're the first to complain if you turn off the juice. Decreased blood supply to the brain leads to syncopal episodes, faints, while decreased supply to the heart muscle leads to angina-like chest pain. Remember, the coronary artery supplying the myocardium branch from the aortic sinus just distal to the aortic valve. What else? Well, we won't get into flow mechanics today, but if you take it, that the decreased valve area leads to increased resistance and therefore increased pressure in the left ventricle, you can assume that pressure will also rise in the left atrium, the pulmonary veins and in the lungs. You get pulmonary congestion and dyspnea. Breathlessness. So there are the three key symptoms to remember. Syncope, chest pain and breathlessness. Think of Mr. Bursky next time you're examining a patient. But most importantly, get out there and stick your stethoscope on some real life patients. Or else, it's just a fancy necklace.